the back seat without a knockout. Two holes that were going to fire the ground bill. Yes, to land this Mr. Space. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. Their craft has to be a 48-foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Hi, I'm Stephanie Beaumont. Welcome to CNBC, the show that celebrates all the people, places, and things that make the four Atlantic provinces so very special. From Nova Scotia to New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island to Newfoundland and Labrador, we take you to where the action is. And that's where we are today at the Bell Alliant Danny Gallivan CF Charity Golf Tournament. It was created by legendary hockey broadcaster and Cape Breton native Danny Gallivan, along with his friend Red Story and a group of Halifax businessmen back in 1985, with a goal of raising research funds for the fight against cystic fibrosis. The tournament continues to this day, led by the area business community and represents one of the longest standing, most successful fundraising events of its nature in Atlantic Canada. Held at the beautiful and historic Old Ashburn Golf Course in Halifax, Nova Scotia, the event sells out annually to a large field of participants who hit the links with a great list of sports celebrities. It's 18 holes of friendly competition for a truly worthy cause, and we're here for all the highlights, from the first drive to the last trophy. We'll catch up with some legends of broadcasting and great athletes too. Plus, we'll help you with your short game, some pro advice in the form of putting 101, and we'll dole out some free stuff too. But first, let's teach things up with Paul Dowie, event chair for this tournament. That's a fine looking group of people. Yes, most of them dressed alike and yes. some of us committee members in blazing orange in the middle of them, but yes, no, they're a fine looking group. Very good. And now who is that? Who are we looking at? Well, we're looking at a whole lot of players and yeah. sponsors and... Uh, celebs? Celebs, yes. How'd and you get them now? Well, you know, a lot of them we have to uh, simply say the Galavan is on such and such a date and they immediately and beg, beg to come back. Nice. Yes, yeah. People like Bob Cole and Murray Wilson, Lisa savage Arvey, Karen Stemmel, and those are some of the longer term ones. And then, uh, you know, we've got the younger crowd. we got like, some hockey players out there hockey today. players. We've got uh, two members from the Mooseheads Memorial Cup winning team. That would be uh, Stephen McCauley and Brendan Duke. And on the female side of things, we have two wonderful members of Canada's national women's hockey team, and they're having a great time. I've been talking to them Fantastic. as they go around. Well, I mean, there are holes that are, uh, let's say, social. Uh, Would that be fair? Very much so. <laughs> uh, you know, the the weight to tee off is significant based on uh, yeah some silly games, but there's good food as well from some of our, our fine uh, restaurants in the area. That's right. Well, you talk about people that come to the table, and the sponsors are really fantastic. Yes, we've got many long-term sponsors again, Bell Alliant being one of them, but BMO, Harris Banking uh, sponsors our auction, and then just many of the local businesses just step up to the plate year after year. It's a a lot of fun and everybody's gonna have a great day today and tonight as well but it's for a wonderful cause Paul. It is and and uh, as I've chatted with people it's near and dear to my heart I happen to be a CF grandfather yeah. I have two grandsons with the disease but this event not only raises a lot of money but raises awareness of of everybody in the community of of the fact that it's a disease still with no cure right. but uh, the the proceeds from this go to wonderful research some of it happening right here in Halifax and also supporting the the clinics that are offered here yeah which is great and just give us a number because the money that you folks have raised in the last I'm, I'm gonna say 29 years is that right 29 years that's it got it's it right. uh, <laughs> next year's 30 nice. if you do the math that's uh, gonna be a big nobody year. told me there'd be math today now <laughs> yeah, no no so uh, 29 years and we've raised round figures 1.3 million dollars wow. and and we're looking for another great day today fantastic well and there's a little bit of sunshine now to end it all how about that on we, <laughs> we we like the sun and uh, it means that when folks come in there will be no doubt they will be universally saying uh, not only was it a great day of fun but the weather was just perfect. Well thanks for having us. We're having a good time. No one will let me hold the club. What's up with that? Well I don't know. You look a little dangerous and uh, you know. It, it's, you got the uh, memo. It, the memo and we were warned about you and uh, so. Uh, that's fair. We, we keep you away from dangerous objects. That, that's yeah. fair. 
One thing I was permitted to hold was this microphone. Backup gear and a wee bit dated perhaps, but up to the task. Armed and ready for my next interview, I found just the fella. A day off from his Toronto-based duties hosting Canada AM. Broadcast legend, part-time PEI resident and celebrity golfer, Jeff Hutchison. You went into broadcast right out of grade school, didn't you, Jeff? Right out of grade school. Yeah, because you've been at it how long now? Uh, he, okay, if I can, five decades. Really? I've, I, five decades, yeah, 70s, 80s, true? 90s, 20s, yeah, yeah, so 30, 37 years. And think of how many women wake up in the morning and see your gorgeous face. Hey? <laughs> You're a legend around, isn't he handsome? In his own You're mind, right, in his own mind. Now listen, let's talk about your group out there. Okay. Are you having yeah. fun? We My, should assemble the group. Well, first of all, we should assemble the group. I'm playing with at least one lawyer. So, Ooh, yeah. so if anything goes wrong out there for me, old. if anything goes wrong for me, I'm good. I'm good. We have we've got the whole class here. We've got the big hitter. We got right. the lawyer. We've got the the guy that's wandering aimlessly down there now. Did he lose aimlessly. his ball? What happened? No, no. He, we didn't get him a cart, so he has to walk. Two of our group, two of our group don't have carts, so they're walking and they're right. being penalized for that. <laughs> I'm with the lawyer. Okay, who's a very good friend of Ann Murray, by the way. Who's according gotten to him, laid yeah. while he's been here. He did get laid while he was here, and we clearly he, conti that he continues. <laughs> he continues to be laid right here. That's what I, okay, well, yeah. that's what I meant. Yes, no, I've it's not that kind of show, Jeff. No, no, not Jeff, yet. But we're heading there. This isn't your first time at this tournament. No, this is my it? second time here. Great I didn't come event. last year. I, you know what? I love this event. In fact. I'm down to only playing in two or three events a summer just because of the way life is. And you get and a ton of invites. Let's I get a lot clear. of invites. I don't, and, but I just love this. I love the yeah. people. I love the golf course. I love the cause. Yes. Uh, you know, it's a great time to reconnect with people and meet new people. So right. I just love it here. And, you know, you now live in fear. Because if you don't get invited back next year, then you got to start going. You got to start itemizing what you did wrong. <laughs> and I'm hoping it's not this interview, but you got to start itemizing what you did wrong. Anything goes so wrong, you didn't get invited back. Blame it on the microphone. And that could be the whole issue right there. Okay, now I feel it's as hard to believe there's a microphone older than me at this tournament. This is it. You're like a kindred spirit, right? Well, I hope so. Well, you're, so. you, this is kind of home. That's really Anne of Green Gable-ish, kindred spirit. That's what I uh, Yes, exactly. I know. I'm very time, close to home. Yeah, yeah. How much time are you spending on the island this summer? Oh, oh, this summer about, uh, I'm going to, yeah, about five weeks. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. So uh, have a look for him on the red clay beaches of, of Prince Edward Island. But I'll be the guy with socks on <laughs> and sandals. <laughs> okay, and what else are you doing quickly now before you Kay. take off uh, yep. this summer? Where can we Where uh, can we find you? You guys doing any great remotes? Uh, what have we got coming up? Well, you know what? We've got one coming up in Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. We're going nice. to uh, we're going to uh, Gross Morne and possibly Lonsay Meadows. So we're looking forward to that. That'll nice. be the big one. We did a whole bunch in Montreal earlier this summer, yes. but you well, know we want you out here. So that's well, good to know. And uh, we're coming for the Shellfish Festival in PEI. Oh, so that's nice. another one. But you know, in the summer months, viewers, its viewing is down a little bit sure. generally across the board. So that's why I get to take all this vacation mm -hmm. and run away from everything I learned on the internet, which is becoming a real pain. Listen to me. You go out there now and have a great time and, 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 and do your team proud. Well, I have to get the image of this microphone out of my mind. <laughs> God bless you, Jeff. Still ahead on CNBC, we'll chat with a world champion canoe sprinter and a recently drafted Memorial Cup winner. Plus, the man who says this. Previously on Republic of Doyle. That's so cool. But before we head to break, we wanted to give you a smidge of background on the tournament's namesake, the late, great Danny Gallivan. He was born in Sydney, Nova Scotia, and is a graduate of St. Francis Xavier University. Matter of fact, it was during his years at FX that he began his career in broadcast at a local radio station in Anaganish. He became a teacher after that, even served in the Canadian Army too, before his 32 years storied career with Hockey Night in Canada. We'll be right back with more from the Bell Alliant Danny Gallivan CF Charity Golf Tournament. Welcome to a CNBC Old Ashburn Golf Club Pro Instructional Putting 101 with Jared Romain, Superstar Golf Pro. Take it away, Jared. Hi everybody, we're just going to go over uh, a few of the basics of putting today to help you uh, when you're putting on the golf course. So first thing we want to go over is our grip. Okay, so to have a proper grip we want to have our hands nice and close together and we want to have our thumbs pointed straight down the shaft that allow us to line up the ball. Okay, second of all we want to talk about posture. We want to be standing over the ball, our eyes directly over the ball, slightly bent at the hips. Okay, next thing is alignment. We want to have our feet in line with the hole and our shoulders. 
Okay, then after that, the only thing we have left is the stroke. So in order to hit a good putt on the green, what we want to do is we want to have our hands together like that, thumbs straight down the shaft, like we talked about, good alignment, good posture. And then we want to just keep this V here between our shoulders and our arms. So that allows us to have a pendulum type motion and make a good solid stroke. Okay, so we're not breaking our wrists at all. The last thing we want to talk about is the break of the green. As you can see, this green is pretty flat, but sometimes you'll get some hills and undulations, and you have to accommodate for that and make sure that you're hitting it up the hill so that it can break down towards the hole. So that's everything you need to know about putting. Thank you very much. And now you know a little bit more about putting. Thanks a lot, Jerry. That's no good. problem, no problem. <laughs> Look, the lessons are already working wonders here at Old Ashburn. There's a great group of golfers here today, getting in a fun round, yes, but giving too. The battle against cystic fibrosis is ongoing, and the funds raised at this tournament will go a long way in helping both those who suffer from the disease and their families. Ian and Donna Thompson have lost both their children to CF. As founding members of the Danny Gallivan Tournament, their resolve remains strong. Both their children meant so much to so many. A group, Friends of Robbie and Jane, was created in the memory of their son and daughter. And every year, since 2005, those friends have sponsored a whole, raising even more money for the cause and raising the spirits of these golfers just a little higher in the process. It's always like a good this, turnout, though, right? exactly, yep, this is a, a, a comeback every year kind of crowd. Which is nice. Okay, now i got to talk about it because we took a poll and your hole is the most popular. Well, I'm How not does surprised. That I'm not what surprised. What do you do out here? What kind of magic are we, you creating? We've kind of got Party Central on the go. We've got a gang of incredibly close friends, all of whom were friends of Robbie and Jane. They came as part of the team when Rob and Jane were here, and when we lost Rob and Jane, they were back to say, we're going to do this for them forever. Right. Well, so here we are and having Rob and a party. Jane are here. They Don't are, you think they are here? They are. It's indeed. not raining, so no, that's clearly right. here. They're shining down on us. Okay, now yeah. let's just talk about it because we, we obviously know this is a cause that's very near and dear to your heart. But when you see the, the the team that comes out here every year and supports it, what is the, how does that feel as a mom? It's incredibly heartwarming. Incredibly heartwarming because I think it speaks to the spirit of the community. Uh, this whole event started because our friend said, "How can we help?" And of course, when it comes to dealing with illness, the research is the answer. So we wanted to raise the money for research, and here we are 30 years and a million plus I later. Know, that number is phenomenal. It is phenomenal when you think that it's out of the pockets of friends, basically. And uh, and it's made a difference. We're, we're making progress. We're not where we need to be, not even close. And there are people who are living with the illness where every day is a struggle, and we yep. can't forget about them. But the other side of the coin is that we've got Friends who are here now with brand new people, brand new tiny diagnosed babies, and we know that the hope for them is outstanding because of events like this. That's right. That's right. It's where and it comes so now from. we we show up here on the day, and it's all kinds of fun and frivolity, but yeah. there's a lot of planning that goes. Into it. It's it's a year long process, yeah. and and. There's the binder, we've done it enough years, we know how to do it, but you can never say it's done because you want every year to be just a little bit better and we want them to have a little more fun. Yeah. So we're always thinking, how can we change this or change that just to make sure everybody has the best day they can have. Now, I gotta ask you this because there's probably people out there wondering, you know, um, I know this is a cause that goes well beyond this tournament today for you. Mm -hmm. How can people help? Well, I think that if you're uh, inclined to be supportive, volunteers are always useful in every possible way and whether it's it's not always just send the check sometimes right. it's just being moral support for someone who might need you so um, and you have a foundation as well we do the uh, cystic fibrosis Canada is a national body and and chapters all across right. the country and there are even other organizations who like kinsmen who help cystic fibrosis they've adopted us so you know it doesn't matter where you are in your community there will be something going on and, and 
and goodness knows you're making a real difference in lives. You're, you're really saving lives. Right. Okay, now Donna, I noticed that you're not golfing today. Is that because you're a ringer? And be honest. <laughs> I could be out there helping a few, but honestly, uh, for the 29 years we've been doing this, it's so much fun to actually be a part of the planning and being part of the part of the day. And if I was golfing, I'd be out there and missing a lot of the fun. I don't want to miss any of this. And then you give the other people a chance to win. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Ash has fallen over the crowd here at Old Ashburn as Bob Cole. Oh, I feel better about this one. It's going for it. Yeah, Just practice. Oh, wait. Oh, and that one went in. As far as the viewer knows, Mr. Cole, that one went in. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Well, it's great to finally meet you. You know, I hear you every week on my TV. Previously on Republic of Doyle. Do you get autographs and ask to do that all the time? Sometimes, yeah. I know you have a storied career when it comes to the NHL, but there's a lot of whippersnappers out there who know you from Republic of Doyle. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I met them, and uh, and they're doing they're doing a great job. They are. That show has taken off. Well, I'm uh, so proud of them. We're all very proud of them. Yes, I got to tell you, I had just got a, a tweet from Mr. Alan Haka who said it was the biggest thrill to direct you in the vocal booth. He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did a heck of a job, I'm told. So uh, I just enjoyed going down, meeting them all, and and being part of it. That that was an honor. Well, very good. Uh, and it's an honor for me to meet you here today. Now, just tell me why you're here, Mr. Cole, because I know this isn't your first time out on the course. Well, Danny Gallivan was a friend of mine, and he was a mentor of mine in many ways. And I followed, I like to say, in his footsteps, but he was great. Danny, yeah. Danny, was, Danny was just Danny. He was fabulous. And uh, I, I just enjoy coming over to Nova Scotia and Halifax area and playing in Danny's tournaments, cystic fibrosis. It's a great story. Now, all the people that are being helped here in Nova Scotia through this tournament and other things, but this tournament is a big part of it, and I love being part of it too. Yes. Now, let me ask you this, and they're not around us. How is your group today? Do you feel good about the trophy? Or? They're all great. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing very well, but we're having a lot of fun, and the sun's come out, so yes. it's just been fabulous. You want to talk about fabulous. 2013 marks the 44th year with Hockey Night in Canada for the St. John's Native and Hockey Hall of Fame member. The NHL just announced their season will begin on October the 1st, so we'll look forward to hearing that man on the mic with the play-by-play. -play. As for his other gig, Republic of Doyle, well, it's set to premiere with its fifth season the night after. Jake and the gang are back on Wednesday night starting October the 2nd. All right, it's time to head into the clubhouse for a bevy and a browse of the spectacular silent auction. Everything from baseball tickets to Tom Brady can be yours. The bidding has already begun. It's great fun with all of the money going to Cystic Fibrosis Canada. Great folks here too, including 21-year-old Cold Harbor, Nova Scotia-born hockey player Stephen McCauley, who not only helped his team, the Halifax Mooseheads, take home their first ever Memorial Cup this year, but who just days ago was signed to a one-year deal with the Montreal Canadiens AHL affiliate, the Hamilton Bulldogs. Stephen McCauley, how are you? I'm great. Yeah, it's a great day. Good, and a good week for you. Let's start there. Yeah, hey. uh, pretty exciting. Uh, just got back from development camp in Montreal on Sunday and uh, it went well and they, uh, they decided to sign me uh, in Hamilton so looking forward to, uh, to getting there and starting my pro career. It's fantastic. He's very calm. He's got the hockey demeanor but inside you'd do a cartwheel if you could, right? Oh, I'm really proud. Like yeah. it's, it's a big, I mean, it's just a start but at the same time you got to start somewhere and Hopefully it leads to, to bigger things, but awesome. uh, no, it should be good. And you guys have had a great season. Let's talk about the Mooseheads. Holy cow. Yeah. I, I don't know, really know where to start, but um, it's great to be a part of it and bring a first Memorial Cup to Halifax, and you know, the, the city deserves it. And um, you know, Right from the day I got here, I knew we had a chance, and to do it, it was, uh, it was amazing. Very good. Okay. And now you're here today, and what a wonderful cause. Talk to me about your group. Do you think you're are you do you ha, are you in the running for the cup tonight or what? Uh, no, I don't think so. We're we're eight under, which wasn't too bad. Oh, um, respectable. Getting, respectable, yeah. But I heard a couple nine under, so I mean, we, maybe we'll get like the uh, a part participation ribbon or something. But that's not that. You have cool, the so. best looking shorts out there. I noticed that today. Uh, I don't know. They don't really match the shirt, <laughs> but that, that's all I had with me. So I love. Uh, I think it works. It's a great cause too, eh, Steve? Yeah, it is. Um, I was. I mean. I, when I was asked to come, I was invited to uh, to play here. I, you know, I kind of asked what it was all about, and when I heard about it, I, it was a no-brainer for me to show up and 
just uh, do my part and you know, just have a fun day on the course and and, uh, and uh, yeah, um, that was great. Uh, hopefully they raise a lot of money for uh, cystic fibrosis. Very good. All right, listen, we wish you all the very best. We'll be watching for you on uh, Hockey Night in Canada before too long. Oh, I, I hope so. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Another one of the amazing sports celebrities lending their time and talents to the event, world champion canoe sprinter, Canadian Olympian, and Halifax native, Karen Furneaux. You never know who you're going to run into in these things. How are you, Karen Furneaux? I'm good, thank you How so much. How did you do out there? That's what I wanted. Uh, we played so well. The Is team, that true? Yeah, it was awesome. It was so much fun. This tournament, I've played it a couple times. It is Every year, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we hit some awesome drives, sunk some great putts. And, are you going to uh, win? What do we know? We're not going to win, but we were maybe like hearts, seven or eight under. Yeah. Sorry? In your hearts, you've already Absolutely, won. yeah. It's this, it's those it's those good drives, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And, and this is a beautiful course. Now, are you a golfer normally? Are you out there golfing? Because I know just, you're busy. I've recently taken up golf. I love it. It's uh, You have to look. Thank you. Look you. fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's yeah no, it's super fun. I love it. And uh, when you hit the ball well, it's just, it's that feeling. It keeps you coming back. And when you get to do it for the kids and for, yes. for the cause, it's right. even more fun. And it's, there's so much spirit here. There's so much passion and I just I just love being involved with that you never stop is that a fair assessment like <laughs> you're is, always yeah I don't, I don't stop very often but uh no I, I have a health and wellness company I promise performance we build corporate programs focusing on fitness nutrition stress management for different companies uh, so I do that full time nice. and then I train as well like I run a trail with my dogs and stuff like that I was gonna say, look at the guns is it okay to call a, a girl's arms guns look at that sure. yeah, well I mean after all the years of, of rowing it really thank you yeah I had 20 years in my sport and I retired in the fall so I'm very grateful but you know what fitness and activity is something I do every day I yeah. need to you, everyone needs to actually yeah. For, like so. yeah for their physical health their mental health yeah. and stress management too that's what's wrong with me we're gonna talk now We'll take a break. I'm going to begin my workout by doling out some free stuff. Up for grabs today from our good friends at Flanker Press in St. John's, a four-pack of books perfect for the whole family. New from Newfoundland and Labrador's favorite storyteller, Gary Collins, comes a true story of adventure on the high seas. It's the gale of 1929. You'll also get the Flanagans. It's a beautiful yet heart-wrenching tale about a family struggling to come to terms with tragedy. And hot off the presses from Heather Stemp, Amelia and me set in Harbor Grace back in 1932 a 12 year old girl named Ginny Ross dreams of being a pilot like her hero Amelia Earhart a great one there oh and how about this to top it off a Newfoundland year from Dawn Baker it's 12 months of fun limericks and colorful illustrations perfect for the young reader in your world so how about that for a well-rounded prize pack and all you need to do to be eligible to win it is to answer the following question correctly on which can Canadian comedy drama series set in St. John's, Newfoundland. Can you hear Bob Cole's voice each week? Now that, is this, are they getting easier or is it just me? Well, anyway, once you know the answer, hit the website. It's www.cmbc.com. Click on the TV free stuff button and submit your answer. Good luck to you and we'll be right back. Welcome back to CNBC. Play at the 2013 Bell Alliant Danny Gallivan CF Charity Golf Tournament is complete. The group has assembled in the dining room of the old Ashburn Golf Club for a tasty dinner and of course the prize presentations. While each team is hoping to win and get their names on that big trophy, every player goes home with something. And of course the pride in knowing they've raised some much needed research funds for the fight against cystic fibrosis. That crazy big check means it's time to announce the tournament total. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Adding to that over one million dollar total, 72,000 is phenomenal. One last order of business and perhaps the biggest honor of all. As a further tribute to the late Robbie Thompson, a memorial trophy has been awarded each year since his passing back in 1998. Given to an individual or family who have made a significant contribution to the tournament and to the efforts in beating cystic fibrosis. We are very pleased to give it to one of the one of the original sponsors and a guy who just uh, loves the cause and, and is great a great Nova Scotian. Put your hands together, Jerome Sampson, ladies and gentlemen, a great recipient. I have 
have one story about Rob, and we always talk about Rob and, and uh, his his caddying days for for uh, Red and. Uh, we, uh, he liked the caddy for Red because as he got a little bit older, he also got his first driving lessons on the golf cart because at about the second or third hole, he'd get tired, Red would want to talk to him, and I usually played with Red at that time, so I'd be pulling the bag, Rob be driving the cart, and Red would be going up the street. So I said, I don't know who caddy for Red, for Red in those first years. I think it was really me and Rob was driving the cart. So. We all miss him dearly, and he was a great guy, and I'm just, uh, once again, honored to, to, to have this award, and uh, thank you very much. who you're a wily veteran out there is that fair how many tournaments uh, this is my 29th year so every year every year since day one every year and to get this trophy the Robbie Thompson Memorial I mean that must mean a lot given that you've been here every year yeah it does it means it means a lot to, to me personally uh, and uh, I know how many people have, have been received this award before so uh, they're all pretty special to me I was so gonna say nice. you're in a great group yeah it, it is and it's very it's very humbling now, let's just talk about the day because I've been at a lot of golf tournaments and this is something special, this one. Yeah, it, it really is. It's, it's, we kind of call it old, old home week. Uh, you know, a lot of people we may not see, even though Halifax is a small community, we, we, we may not see these people, but we can be assured that every July we'll see the same familiar faces back at, uh, at the Gallivan. And it's such a worthy cause. Now, what does it mean to you? Because for, to come out every year for 29, it must mean a lot. I think it's, it started as um, kind of a corporate uh, sponsorship. Uh, it became very personal very quickly. Um, to be affected uh, and, and by the disease and also to uh, you know, be good friends with Don and Ian Thompson and seeing their kids grow up and realizing what they went through. Uh, it, it, it leaves a, you know, a, a real pain in your heart. And, and uh, so I really became personally attached and, uh, you know, I think it's the, it's the best tournament. We always say Atlanta, Canada, but I say Canada because uh, there's not many tournaments that will run 29 years yeah, of succession right. so yeah well very good well we congratulate you should i salute you now or what happens oh no no no, no i just go back to being jerome again so well you're all right with us congratulations thank you thank you to watch this show again or see any episode of cnbc visit www.bellalliant.net they're all there on demand and be sure to visit our site at www.cnbc.com we celebrate the people places and things that make the four atlantic provinces so special 24 7 with something new every day great videos cool people profiles event listing photo features and so much more it's lots of fun hope you'll check it out hey and speaking of fun we're getting schooled in it for our next episode cnbc is heading to the set of mr d it started He's everyone's favorite teacher. Can we run on both sides? Just ask him. Jerry and the gang are in the midst of shooting their third season here in Nova Scotia, and we're going behind the scenes. How cool is that?